Prices continue to fall at the pump, which means good news to you drivers across this country. Today's prices for regular hold at a $2.40 a gallon. That's down 49 cents from just a month ago. This is even less than a year ago today when gas prices were averaging $2.76 a gallon. And although those gas prices are falling, the work continues to be done toward developing better alternative fuels. So for more on this, Lou Ann Hammond, the CEO and founder of Carlist.com, joins me from Sacramento. It's good to see you as always. Thanks, Alex. Let's, Good to see you. Let's talk about some of these alternative fuel sources. What are they? Well, uh, and there are two that we really have to watch right now because I just got back from Edwards Air Force Base watching a B-52 take off with synthetic fuel from Centrolium, a, wow. a domestic made fuel. So we've got ethanol. We all know about that. And ethanol, if you put it in 10% in your uh, tank right now, you're saving about $90 million a day instead of sending it over to the foreign countries. Synthetic fuel is a little bit further off. We have about six months before this uh, ultra clean fuel says that they are ready to, to start breaking ground. They've still got to get financing. But after that, they've got ultra clean coal, which we are like the Saudi Arabia of coal, and they're going to turn that into diesel and jet fuel. The military has asked for 100 million gallons of, of synthetic fuel. Now, when the military asks for it, you know it's going to be done. So that's a, a, in about three years, we will have the jet, the jet fuel that the military flies on as synthetic domestic made jet fuel. So three years and what's it going to cost? Well, that's the problem with, you know, before when it was $75 a barrel, that was a viable option. Now with it about $60 a barrel, you're looking at a little bit more expensive, but Alex, we're looking at boycotting Sitgo in Venezuela right now. They're, every single manu uh, oil company has Venezuelan oil. If we actually want to get off of Venezuelan oil, we're going to have to find alternatives. The prices are going to go back up. Okay, but Luann, it, right now you've got people buying gas pretty cheaply. So do you think now is the time to be doing this? Because they're going to think, do we want to pay more for something that we're already getting at cheap prices? Well, that's the crux of the problem, isn't it? Because we really, our, our whole mission is supposed to be getting off of foreign oil, and yet people are saying we want it really inexpensive. It's the common denominator between all of us. We need oil. We mm -hmm. need gasoline. So we have, we have to find a way to not only afford it, but get off of foreign oil. Okay. Hey, Luann, you know, I don't want to shortchange this segment. Can you stick around a little bit? Because we got to take a break. Okay, great. Thank you. Luann Hammond, we'll talk to you in a bit. Meantime, we're quickly approaching...